Hans in the Netherlands writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, you always make it clear to us viewers that you hear differences between PCM and DSD. I've been upgrading my system step by step with outcomes that I keep on enjoying my music and at the same time I educate myself on the technology. Good job, sir. Finding it hard to compare PCM with DSD, I have purchased Cabaret Hothouse Flowers from Octave Records, for I know that was recorded in DSD. Indeed it was. Indeed, everything Octave records is in DSD. That said, I could also download it in PCM and DSD, making it perfect for a comparison. What I notice is that at first I could not hear the difference between DSD and PCM, and a few changes in the uh, uh, change later, I preferred PCM, but now again, a few changes later, <laughs> I'm back at DSD as my favorite format. I currently find DSD closer to analog than PCM. It seems that there is more information in there. The sound stage is wider and everything you hear has this extra layer in depth, timing, and decay. But I also heard you saying that if a recording is done in DSD as the master, there's no difference between DSD and PCM. And that makes me wonder, if this is indeed the case, then it's my DAC. Well, a long question. First off, let me correct something. If I said that a recording done in DSD as the master means there's no difference in the PCM, then it's likely I was drunk because I don't think I would say that when I was sober. I gotta stop drinking when I'm doing it. <laughs> so let me, let me be, let's go over some, let's go over some stuff. Okay, we've talked enough about the difference between DSD and PCM. DSD is a one-bit system. It looks far more like analog. We can take a DSD stream, pop it into a power amplifier, and out comes music. PCM is a encoded system that does not resemble analog at all and must be decoded because if you took a PCM stream, put it in a power amplifier, and what comes out would be nothing or noise. You wouldn't want to do that. So DSD is by far more analog and closer in sound to analog. It is by far the best format. When we build DACs, D to A converters, our top-of-the-line D to A converters convert everything, whether it's PCM or DSD. Well, if it's DSD, we don't convert it. <laughs> but we take, oh, let's just say it's PCM, we take it, we convert it to DSD, and then run it through all the processing and spit it directly into a low-pass filter, and out it goes as analog, right? So we don't do any decoding. So everything is uh, done in, in single bit DSD. Okay. When we make a recording at Octave Records, we do it in DSD. But we can't change the volume and we can't mix single bit DSD. It's technically impossible, right? So a lot of people convert that to analog, then do all their mixing, and then reconvert it back to either DSD or PCM. I'm not a fan of that. I, I think that is too big of a loss between the pure DSD sound and the converted product. So we do an on-the-fly conversion to what's called DXD, which is 352.8 kilohertz PCM. That conversion, if you start with DSD and you convert it to DXD, there is very little in the way of loss, but it's not quite as good. Again, I'll repeat, engineering, recording, the arts, all of it is a compromise. There is no such thing as a perfect system. So we have to make the best choices 
our ears tell us that makes sense. So how little damage can we do to get the results that we want? And I find that recording in DSD, mixing in DXD, and then converting back, which is a very simple matter, to DSD or PCM at lower sample rates is the method that has the least amount of degradation. It's almost, a lot of people can't hear it. Maybe I said that and that's where you heard that. But it's there, I can hear it. There's a slight loss. Now, if you were to record in DXD in the first place, it's pretty darn good. It's really good. But it's not the same as recording in DSD and converting to DXD. Okay, I think that maybe answers your question. DSD is certainly better, and what you're hearing through Octave Records is really an amalgam. So you can't say, because we've never released anything in pure DSD. The only way we could do that using our current methods is to record a live two-channel mix where we just, we didn't do any mixing or any volume changes. We mixed it on live from microphones on the fly in an analog board, did the mix, prayed that it came out the way we wanted, <laughs> and captured it on DSD. But we haven't figured out quite how to do that and be successful at it. So, all right, long-winded answer. Thanks for the question. Bye.